Hey, in this video, we're gonna find out if it's time to maybe upgrade your PoE from a PoE adapter to a PoE switch. All right, before we get started, let's look at PoE. Let's look at the history of the PoE. In 2000, that's when Cisco came up with the PoE. They did that because, oh boy, they had those VOIP phones and they still have them everywhere today. They needed a way to power those phones because prior to that, all we had was the POTS lines, the plain old telephone, the Ma Bell telephone that we all grew up with. And it was, it was our form of communication, but it needed power as well. And the only way it got power was through the, the CEO, through the, um, through the central office. They, they sent power down the line to your telephone. Well, let's go forward to 2000. Cisco was like, hey, we, you know, we need power. And back then it was like, ah, can't put power on, a, on an ethernet cable. No, 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 don't run power alongside a data cable. It's a no-no, okay, don't do it. Well, Cisco said, we gotta do it and uh, we've gotta do it fast. So they come up with an idea to get power through the twisted pairs to your telephone and it worked because <laughs> uh, it's working today. In fact, in 2003, the IEEE kind of standardized it and uh, called it, uh, standardized their method and called it the 802.3 AF. Fast forward, 2009, uh, the standard was updated to PoE Plus. And with this ability, it allowed, uh, uh, POE to be delivered at 25 and a half watts of power. So that was a significant update there. And then now let's let's fast forward to today. We've got POE plus plus and it's able to deliver 96 watts of power to a device, any single device. And you're thinking, wow, what would you use 96 watts for? Uh, simple. Uh, your laptops, uh, your display monitors, your TVs. Yeah, you just plug them in, no power required because it's traveling along that ethernet cable. Cisco came out with that to be able to deliver over an ethernet cable and goody, goody, goody. We love that because this is nice. This right here, this is nice, but then you have all of this cable, you got your convenience outlets, things like that, all taken up by these. If you've got several of these in your network, then you're going to be taking up a lot of convenience outlets. You're going to have power strips and all sorts of things all over your network because you need to power up all your devices. So the question is, is do we, again, do we get rid of this in order to get this so that we don't have all of the mess and inconveniences and we go to something that's a little bit more convenient? Well, you're going to have to decide that. Your budget is going to have to decide that. Now I've got a couple of them here. I've got the powered switch here. This is the Unify eight port switch. I use this mainly for testing, things like that. When I'm setting up phones for a customer, I can plug all the phones in, configure all the phones, power. I don't have to worry about these. Although the, the phones that I get come with a, a power supply that actually plugs in. This is actually one of them here. You plug this in and the phone, you know, boots up. So it gets the power that way, but then you have your, then you have your ethernet cable plugged in as well. So now you got a kind of a big mess there. And then you got your phone cables there. So you, you yeah, as you can see, there's just a <laughs> big, big mess. So we don't, we don't like that. So uh, there it is booting up. See on the camera here, booting up and it works well if you don't mind this plugging in. Now at most desks, this takes up a convenience outlet, so you don't really want this. We, we, we don't like that. So anyway, we take our phones, we plug them into the uh, switch here. It's just eight ports. It gives us seven phones to plug in at a time if we wanna do it that way or plug it into a bigger switch. But a lot of times, just a few phones, so you plug them in, you can configure them without having to worry about the power. Now this Netgear, you might think, wow, that's, yeah, that's a switch. And it even says it's a switch. It's a, a ProSafe 24 port um, gigabit switch. So you think, wow, that's, that's cool, that's a switch. 
but you still can't do anything with it. it data in, data out on 23 ports, your data in, you know, say number one, you can plug it in anywhere, it'll negotiate on all the ports, but let's just say you plug it in one, then you've got 23 left to plug in all of your, your devices. But still, you can't control the actual port itself and, you know, say, okay, I want this on a certain VLAN, I want this on a VLAN, I want this regular, you know, down the line. It doesn't do that. The only thing fancy that it does is it gives you a different color light depending on if you got a 10100 or a gigabit plugged into it, it'll actually light up a yellow or a green. So it, it, it looks nice. And, and if you want this to have power, you can. You know, you could take the, the power inserter and you can, you can come out of your data here. Let me get this up here. You can, you can come out of your, your switch or hub or whatever you got and go into the, uh, to the LAN connection and then come out with your PoE to the device and power your device that way, you can still do that. Or you could buy PoE's um, power supplies that actually go in the rack and do the same thing instead of having a bunch of these. And I guess that works too. But to me, if you're gonna buy this and you're gonna buy uh, the PoE, if, if you're gonna do all of that, you're gonna, you're gonna spend that extra couple of hundred bucks and you may as well upgrade to a switch now is this for everybody no and the reason i say that is because you may only have one or two devices and this is kind of an overkill um, you can get some of them that are like 48 port and half of it is powered half is not powered whatever combination that you want to get this one is all powered every one of these are powered and you can turn these off but you don't have to if, if there's power coming in, it's not going to hurt your device or anything like that, but you can turn the power off if you want. And when I say that this may not be for everyone, it's because two things. One, yeah, you may only have a couple of items. The other thing is, is it may not fit your budget because these are a little more costly. They're usually twice as much as a regular switch. The 48 port of the uh, Unify is uh like a grand <laughs> it's 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 a, it's a lot of money it's a big investment but if you have most devices that you plug in is powered then it's so worth having something like this but if you only have a couple of items nah, by all means use this right here but again is it worth it uh, eesh, uh again budget that's that's it's going to come down to budget and it's going to come down to how many devices i have to plug in um, but whenever you plug something in it's nice to just be able to grab it plug it into the port plug it into the device and uh, bada bing bada boom it it boots up pretty quick um, these are really nice they, they they have a blue halo that goes that glows that lets you know that you are online it's it's got data traffic it's got the internet going so that lets you know real quick but yeah that's that's all you got to do and you don't have all this extra stuff here so would I go with it again if if I have a lot of items that need power yeah I'm 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 going to save my pennies and I'm going to, or my dollars, and, and I'm going to get something like this. But if I only have one or two items, no, I'm probably not. I'm just going to get a standard managed switch, not a PoE switch. So that may help you decide on which one that, uh, that you really need. Hey, we sure hope you enjoyed the video today. Please like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and hey, give us a comment down below. This is going to help this channel continue to grow.